I mean, how much was this a, kind of a gut check for you guys? Uh, it was a great game. I mean, it came down to the end. Like most of the games we're going to play in this SEC league, and we got tougher, I feel, and we came up with a W, so that was big for us. What do you think it says about the resolve of the team to only have seven scholarship players and still be able to win? I mean, we have, I feel we have the best players in the country on our team, so if a couple guys go down, a couple of the guys are injured, I feel like we can still battle out and come out with Ws, and that's what we did today. Cal said Jared's getting closer to coming back. What have you seen from him in practice? Uh, I mean, he's been playing great. I mean, he's been bringing a lot of energy to practice, and he's just on a, ta he's on a timetable. He's just going to take his time and make the right decision to play when the time is right. What are some of the things he might bring to the game? Uh, versatile, I mean, toughness, and the kick and make plays, and I feel like he can score as well. What was going through your mind, Ami, when uh, A&M got two wide open threes right there at the end that fortunately for you guys they missed, but what goes through your mind when you see the guy wide open starting He's missing. Shoot? That's what I was thinking, he's missing. I mean, I just hope for the, hope for the best for my team. Do you guys feel like you answered the challenge when Kyle uh, said after the Tennessee game you guys needed to be tougher? Uh, I feel like it's gonna take it's gonna take much more. I feel like we could be much more tougher, and uh, I wouldn't say that we don't got tough guys on our team. It's just a bunch of things happen in a bunch of games, and people just gotta dig in and want to win. And that's what we showed that we wanted to do today, and we came out with a W. Coach also said that he wants you guys not to go for the Hollywood play, not to go for the cute play. How much do you think you've adapted your game to, you know, keep it within confines that he's wanting? I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, you just got to play within the team and do what this team needs you to do to win. And that's what I've been trying to do. I mean, I haven't been feeling well the last couple of games. Came back still playing and struggling a little bit, but just trying to find my way. I mean, it's going to be a long season. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And it's going to be a bumpy road, but all in, you just got to be happy with W's. I mean, we got to win tonight, so I'm, I'm satisfied. What was your reaction when you found out that Nick Dante wasn't playing, or did you know that pretty much earlier today? I mean, we're just, I knew that he wasn't pretty much going to play on me. I'm close to everyone on the team. I speak to everyone, and his back was hurting him. So, I mean, he said he's going to take this one out. And just on the plane, I mean, it's just all, it's still all about, we're still going to go out there and battle. Have you seen PJ kind of step up, step up in the leadership role on the court for you guys? Yeah, definitely. I mean, everybody on this team can be a leader. Everybody's vocal, and everybody can talk to everyone. I mean, we're all receptive, and we all just want to get wins. I mean, that's what that's what it's really about. When we want to win, we're going to listen to anyone. I'm sorry, Ami. Sorry about that. From the toughness factor, did you guys think you were much tougher tonight than you were against Tennessee? Yeah, definitely. I feel like we was tougher. I feel like we came out, we battled, and we showed that we could win close games. I mean, that's pretty much going to be every league game is going to be a close one, we feel like. And every team is going to come to battle when they play on this. I know PJ said late in the game you are all tired, but adrenaline kind of took over. Does that kind of happen with you as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't tired, though, me personally. But adrenaline definitely does take over when you get tired. I mean, and it's just all about winning. So if you got to win, you're not going to worry about time. It's just when it's going to be the biggest factor in you. It's going to take over your whole body. Did this have a feel of like a uh, postseason game or something? I mean, this thing was back and forth the whole way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Texas a and a great team. They got inside and outside games. So, I mean, it was definitely a good challenge for us. And I feel like our big man really stepped up today and really did a good job on shutting down their bigs. What about driving it to the basket? P.J. just looks like he's possessed when he gets the ball 15 feet out and starts driving it right at him. Definitely. I mean, I feel like he's the best, one of the best drivers on this team. And when he's doing that, I mean, we're just great. We're just at our best when everybody's attacking and everybody's trying to play and make for everybody else. I mean, what have you seen from Jared the past couple days, I guess, in practice? I mean, he's been great. I mean, he's trying to get back to 100%. And he's just been doing what he does. I mean, being a playmaker and being a tough player. And that's pretty much it. If he Saw is him. able to get healthy, what's he bring? I mean, he's playmaking ability. He's able to make plays. He's able to get to the basket. And he's a great all-around player. You saw him a lot in high school. Are there any new wrinkles to his game or anything maybe you didn't know that he had that, that he has now? I mean, Jared is pretty much, he's a, he's a playmaker. I mean, he's a 6'9", six, 6'8", six, playmaker. I mean, he could get out, make plays, and he could score the ball as well. I mean, that's what he's going to bring to this team. And he can play multiple positions. So once we get him back, I mean, we're just going to get better. But we're not really banking on that. We're just trying to go on with the season. And when he comes back, we're just going to try to adapt him in as, as, as best as possible. Do you have any indication on when he no, might be I, there? I'm not a trainer. <laughs> how, how tough is that, do you think, to, to come back? Uh, 
at, at this stage in the season and, and like you said, integrate into this team? I mean, it's definitely tough. I mean, I came, last, I came around this time last year and I can't picture myself trying to play with that team when I came in. So, I mean, it's definitely tough, but I mean, he's been taking on the challenge, he's been practicing and he's been trying to learn. I mean, that's just the biggest thing is just learning. And then when he gets in, we're going to have to help him as much as possible. I mean, that's just going to be the biggest thing. But I mean, I can't wait to get him back on the floor and just get him to play basketball again. I mean, everybody that plays basketball, you want to see them playing and you want to see them happy again. And injuries is just a bad part of the game, but it's just something that's unfortunate that happens. Tommy, when PJ plays with sort of a bulldog mentality, how does that change you guys defensively? I mean, he's a bulldog. That's what he does. And when he's going in and he's bringing toughness, I mean, it just gives us all energy. And that's what a bunch of our guys, I feel like we have a bunch of bulldogs on our team and a bunch of guys that could get to the rim and be very aggressive, be very tough, and be very vocal and bring energy.